Hello to all my smart and sexy subscribers. I'm Doc Ian, and today I'm taking a first look at the Orc Princess from Wargames Bakery. This is from a Kickstarter I backed. It appeared in the mail today. So I'm kind of unpacking it right now and to see what's in it. Now, uh, well, first off, we have a little baggie of bases. You get kind of a bunch of options. I haven't measured them, but just eyeballing it, I'd say there's a 20 and 25 mil square, 25 mil round, and a 30 mil lip round. So lots of options. <clears throat> Here's the actual mini herself. Let's take her out of this baggie. Now, what interested me about this was that the War Games Bakery, they've not produced miniatures before. They're known for other products, mainly a line of basing stamps called Basius, which you use to well, make your own basis out of kind of green stuff and the like. And so they're, they're expanding into making miniatures as well. Uh, this is their first little production. Uh, a female orc. Uh, in, in resin. Now this shield was a stretch goal I believe so it's not entirely obvious how it's supposed to be used. It, it's not part of the original design so you don't really know how it's supposed to work. But the idea is these are her hands and well lower arms I presume that she's holding behind her back and she's holding the sword behind her back as well in those hands. Now we can see right away that there is some flashing here, there, but it's very, very uh, light and minute. It easily comes off. More worrying is that down this side here, I don't know if you can tell, Let's see if I can angle it, there's a mold line running right here. Now this is and it continues down her leg. It's not a very big mold line. There's a slight hint of it on the right side, but mostly it's on the left side. Um, it should be fairly easy to clean off, except maybe, well, these textured areas are a bit rougher, but on the other hand, it's not as visible there. And the question, it doesn't seem to go up into the head. Though there is a bit of roughness in the casting here. She's bald, but there's some little bumps here. But they can be smoothed out easily enough. The detail is good. The pose is relatively neutral, reasonable. Um, as for the actual sculpt, it's, yeah, it's perfectly fine. Um, yeah, it's reasonable quality. I, they had two options. They had a 28 mil and a 32 mil option. I went for the 32 mil. Uh, to compare it to something else, here's here's another here's the uh, the the other here's the Miranda a Malifaux model I'm working on at the minute. Malifaux claimed to be 32 mil scale, so if you put these next to each other, you see, yeah, they're the same, just about. And well. There's not much else I can say about it, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Dakian, signing off.